Hello! In this section, we're going to be talking about installing a simple website. And in an earlier video, we installed the Puppet Labs Apache module. Let's start with exploring a simple web server. One concept that is useful in configuration management is that of roles and profiles. With roles and profiles, you assign a specific role to a machine, and each role contains one or more profiles. In this example, we'll start with a role that just installs Apache. And what we're going to build up is a LAMP machine. We're going to have Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP on the same machine to produce some product. In this case, we'll install a CMS in the final video. But in this first video, we're going to install Apache. So if we look at our production environment and we look at our manifests, we're going to use the role of Apache. So the role Apache is in modules, role, manifests, Apache. And this module just calls the profile. So this is the bulk of the class is right here. It's just calling a profile. So if we look at profile, manifests, Apache, what this does, again, it has the same parameters as the role. We're just passing them through. But now we're going to use that Puppet Labs Apache module. We're going to say disable the default vhost, and that's Apache's virtual host. And then we're going to say let's create a vhost. We'll take the port that we assigned at the top and the document root where all the files will live. And then we'll create an index file from a template. And this template is going to be a very simple template that will just contain the host name of our machine. And we can look at that as well. That's in modules. Profile, Templates, Index. And you can see it's a very simple HTML file that just contains the name of our machine. So now on our Ubuntu machine, if we just run Puppet Agent minus T, that's going to download and install Apache and configure Apache to remove the default vhost and set up a single vhost with the name of our machine. And depending on your internet connection, this may take a few seconds to complete. So it's installed the service, it started it, and it created the index.html. So if we go and look at var www, we can see that there's an Ubuntu directory. So if we look in that directory, there's an index.html, and let's just look at that, var www, Ubuntu index. There's our file that we're looking for. Now, in our Vagrant file that we defined initially, we actually port forwarded. So if we look, at our Vagrant file for the Ubuntu machine, we forwarded port 80 to port 8080. So if we go back to our browser and start a new tab and then say go to localhost colon 8080, we will be presented with this page that's running on the Apache server on that Ubuntu client. 